Uh, how about some fun in the shade activities and a break from the heat? Yes, please. The Tampa Downtown Partnership is bringing back its summer series. And with more, Ivy Lupko, Manager of Public Space Programming for the Tampa Downtown Partnership. Ivy, welcome. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I am well. Uh, before we dive into all these yes. wonderful events, let's talk a little bit about the Tampa Downtown Partnership. What's it all about? What's it all made up of? So the Tampa Downtown Partnership is a nonprofit contracted by the city of Tampa and we are employed to go above and beyond what the city of Tampa can do for the community. So we do beautification, we do public space programming, activation and transportation developments. And of course, keeping the kids entertained during the summer yes. months. But let's be <laughs> honest, it's so hot. So talk about trying to rethink and uh, have some fun in the shade. Yes, so summer series that we brought it in because it is hot. So we have our large straight shade structure in the Curtis Six and Park right down by the river. So it's half of what we use in Winter Village and it's right over the shade, the the splash pad. Yes, <laughs> it is over the splash pad. It is over the okay. splash pad. So it gives you some shade while you're splashing in the fun. Nice. I didn't realize that. I'll be honest yes. with you. Very smartly done. But I know sometimes the splash pad is fabulous as it is. You may want some more activities. Absolutely. And that's where the summer series really comes in and shines. Yes, so we are activating. We just opened this past weekend and we're activating through July 30th. And every Friday, Saturday and some Sunday, we have something fun happening. So Friday is Entertainment Friday. Saturday is Wellness Saturday and Sunday is Fun Day Sunday. So on Fridays, we're showing a retro movie. We just showed the Superman Film Festival and this coming weekend we'll be doing Gulliver's Travel. So they really are retro, something that you may have enjoyed as a kid that now you you want your children to enjoy or your nieces and nephews and then wellness saturday we've partnered with tampa well which is an organization on behalf of tampa general hospital and then sunday really is sunday fun day we have swedish sundays with ikea coming in pretty much the entire day activating crafts for kids and adults and then we have the ymca doing a splash pad party and some pool noodle crafts which i actually have a sample Ooh, what is a they, pool noodle yeah craft? so they are making little uh, pool noodle, noodle fish that you can play with in the splash pad. Uh, I'm not going to lie. This is absolutely genius. <laughs> I feel like we need some of these at our pool too. take them to go. Look at this. Yes. This is so great. And again, you've got a lot of fun other stuff in here just to give people an idea of some of the different fun ideas and uh, activities that you can have, of course, right? Yes. Well, let's talk overall about doing it Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. I think that's pretty special because we know during the week sometimes, you know, parents are working or maybe even summer camps are happening. Why was it important to make it at a time when so many families could attend? and can attend together. So we've been doing summer series for about six years now and it's looked different and we've had different iterations every year and I think when we were approaching this year, we really were like, well, we're so successful with the footprint of Winter Village. Let's create a consolidated version that matches that footprint. And during the weekdays, not as many people are on the Riverwalk, not as many families are on the Riverwalk. So we figured Friday, Saturday and Sunday is really when you're coming out to walk your dogs. Yes. The kids have been cooped up all week. You want to get some fun in the sun and we can do that Friday, Saturday and Sunday. There you go. Or fun in the shade when it comes, to the, the shade, when it yes. comes to the cover <laughs> part, right? OK, what do people need to know? Are all of these activities free? Do you have to sign up? Do you need tickets? Give us the good details. So all the activities are free. The only things that are not free are you purchase food and beverage. So we have two up to two food trucks every day oh, nice. within the footprint. We have our beverage container, which you can see our cute little cocktail there. Yes. And then we'll have four pod storage containers popping up with local vendors. So their merchandise can be purchased. Oh, wonderful. So there is even stuff like for parents to kind of do some browsing and shopping. Yes. Good stuff, Ivy. I'm so glad I was able to learn about the summer series. And of course, we've been sharing all the information. Head over to our website, too, for more information. Great to see you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you for having me. Love this.